Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn how to uniquely identify HTML elements. HTML provides us with an attribute called ID for this purpose. We can use ID to give styles to our elements. We can use this ID to bookmark elements. Let's try an example to understand these things better. So coming back here, so this is the code we have currently. So the first usage was we can use ID to give stylings to our element. So let's just add an ID here. So let's call it top bar. And let's move our stylings to the header. So for classes, we use dot and class name, but for ID, we use hash and the ID. So let's try that. So hash and our ID is top bar. Again, curly braces. And let's paste our styles here. Let's remove this style attribute. Let's save it. And as you can see, our style is still the same. So if you see the code, we've got three sections, the landing section, the about us section, and the contact us section. So according to the code, we have a class section where we've defined some styling. So we've given a width of 100% and a height of 550 pixels. So if we give a background color here, all the sections will have the same background color, but we don't want that. We want all the sections to have different, different colors. So for that, we can add IDs. So let's add an ID. So let's call this first section. Let's add another ID here. Let's call this second section. Let's call this third section. Let's add some styles for these. So first section, let's give it a background color. Let's say light green. Similarly, for second section, let's give it a background color let's say light blue, similarly for third section. So I hash and our ID, which is third section. Let's give it a background color. Let's say light pink. Let's save it. And now as you can see, our different sections have different color. All right. So as you can see here, a division or an HTML element can have both ID as well as a class. All right. Now moving on to the second application, we can use this ID to bookmark elements. So here we've got some menu items and all three are loading the index.html page. All right. So to bookmark items, what we can do is for index.html, So to bookmark sections, what we can do is we can add the ID in the URL, in the redirect URL. Say in the second section, the ID is second section. Let's copy it and in about, let's add that. So hash and second section, let's save it. When you click on about, it comes down to about section. All right. Similarly, let's add it for first section and second section. So hash, this is supposed to be first section and here again, hash, third section. Let's save it. If you click here, landing section scrolls a bit. If you click on about, about section comes here. If you click on contact us, the contact section is visible. That's all for today, guys. If there's something that you did not understand, feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.